This is the 2001 Haro Back Trail Pro. Guys, today we have a Haro Chromo Straight Shooter Fork. That's a Nyquist Fork. And we want to get these decals that we ordered on this fork. But we're going to chronicalize the doing. We started off with the decal like this, and then we got the razor blade and gently started prying this part off. And eventually we'll be able to pull it off. And now we've got it pried apart so much so we can almost get a grip on the decal so we can start pulling it off. But we have to get a little bit more out. See that? Nope. Oh, I think I already got the decals already need to pull. Yes, we do. Oh, this part, I gotta get it. Now we got the other part up. And we can just start pulling it off the floor. Just like this. You can get it all the way off. Okay. It's really that sticky, guys. Oh. Ah, yeah, I messed up. And then I'm going to take that razor blade to get underneath there. And we're going to get that off. Up and off. See that? And that's how I keep on pulling the decal off. It's almost gone. It's almost there, guys. It's off. If I wasn't that serious, I would just get these decals right here and stick them on there. But no, I need to get some adhesive remover or some goo gone. We went to Walmart and we got some goo gone, and that should Good. remove this here. But we're going to videotape it, of course. We got the shop cat here. We got goo gone. And we're going to get some goo gone on there. And first get it like soaked with it on there. And after that, it should absorb it and make it like dissipate. Like whatever liquid or goo is on there. But you have to really rub it in there if you like. Yeah. Kind of be a little bit hard to get it all but we'll get it in time but i just want to show you guys how i'm getting this stuff off because this really matters okay it was a hundred percent this product look at the finish very fine but you can still see like where the decal was but like this uh, new decal it's not gonna be that much big and i can wipe this off and it's gonna be perfect, guys. I can't wait to apply a decal on this. It's gonna look so complete. Now we're getting the second decal off. And uh, this is a little weird. Kind of happened, it started to glump up into like, where you can like remove it off there. You see what I'm doing to it? It's really weird. I just wanted to video camera it because it's, like, it's a, just a weird behavior. But it's good because it's going to remove, like, the decal business. i just scrape it off. We've now got this Nyquist Promo Straight Shooter Fork. I'm decaled. It's nice and pretty and clean and dark. I'm ready for decals. So stoked. Let's get this frame set up complete. decals out and we're ready to apply them but we're looking at this RO back trail pro bicycle and seeing where the decals go it looks like right here is a mark where we'll be at we just 
applied the first Haro Bikes Chroma Straight Shooter Fork Decal, and it looks beautiful. Now to get on the other side. We realize how the decals laid out over here. Haro starts out at the bottom, so it's a little bit different, but we know that, see where this Haro emblem is? Right there on up is where he wants decal at. So we're going to place it there. We got a Haro Chromo straight shooter fork and the coloration that we want. Man, this is awesome. Well guys, thank you for watching on this restoration video of this Haro Backtrail Pro 2001.